Hello, my name is Shivdat, and today we're going to go over an, an interesting computer science problem of finding the fifth largest element, the fifth last element, sorry, in a linked list. So, just to recap, a linked list is a data structure with nodes and pointers. So it comprises nodes, and every node has a pointer to the next node, except the last node, which points to null if it's a linear linked list. If it's circular, then you know, it can loop back and point back to a previous node. But if it's a linear linked list, and we're dealing with a linear linked list, then the last element points to null, to nothing, while all the other nodes have next nodes that they point to. So let's imagine we have a long linked list. And the question is, how do we find the fifth largest element? Or, or let's say, let's say the third largest element, for that matter. The number five is not important here. The, the idea is, so you have a linked list that starts from here, goes all the way down this way. How would you find the third largest element? In other words, how do you find this node and the value contained in it? Now's a good time to pause the video. Think about this if you'd like. Alright, so one obvious way which you may have thought of is to really kind of traverse through the linked list and keep and keep a, a, a keep a counter variable, call it count, and basically every time you go to a next node you increment that variable count. So by the time you get to the end, uh, when you reach next, right? you have the variable count, so you know how many elements are there in it. And then you just subtract 3 from that, and then iterate once again through the list, till you get to count minus 3, and just return that node. That would be the third largest node. Yep, that's now a simple, obvious way to go about it. Um, but is there a quicker way? Can we kind of, um, you know, really iterate through the list once, and get the third largest element? That was a great time to pause the video, think about it. So there was another lecture that I gave on, on linked lists, um, to, to find a loop in a linked list. And there we kind of used a critical idea that would be really useful here. So if you saw that video, now would be um, you know, a good time to pause the video and try to apply that here as well. So exactly, the idea is to use two pointers. So in other words, you let one pointer Let's call it pointer A. It starts at point 1, it increments, and it increments. Now the moment pointer A is at, at point, at the third element in the list, you start pointer B. And now you increment them together. So now at every time step, A will go to this, and B will go to the second, A will go one more, B will go one more, a will go one more, B will go one more, A will go one more, B will go one more, A will go to the end, B will go here, and now you have the condition that when A increments to the next, which is now, then stop, don't increment B, and just return the node that B is currently on, and that will be the third largest element. This, this is a really neat trick, and this idea of having two pointers you know, working together in a linked list is, just comes up very often and is very useful. Um, we see in this case how instead of going twice through the loop, you can really kind of have two pointers and increment at the same time, so you're effectively just going once, once through the list, and uh, the moment the first one gets, and they're just kind of slightly offset, so the form the first one points to now, uh, the second one was exactly where you want it to be, and you can just return the value. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.